Elon Musk recently went on to reveal plans to produce Tesla bots by 2026, with each worker replaced by a robot saving the company hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. That's why Elon Musk believes Optimus will surpass the value of any previous Tesla product, with the entire Tesla bot manufacturing process being done at Giga Texas. So how is Optimus made, and what can it do at the factory? That's what we'll dive into in today's episode. And welcome to Techno Creators. Before we begin, please help us reach 4,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great tech episodes. Elon Musk has set ambitious goals to keep the Tesla bot project on track, aiming to integrate cutting-edge robotics into Tesla's production lines by 2025. The Optimus robot is anticipated to perform basic factory tasks and contribute to electric vehicle manufacturing. Musk has outlined a target of deploying at least 1,000 Optimus units within Tesla by 2025, with potential scalability to as many as 10,000 units. This could allow for limited sales by the end of the year, with more significant expansion expected in 2026. Recently, Musk announced that mass production of the Tesla bot would ramp up this year, with a goal of producing 500,000 to 1 million units annually by 2027. Specific milestones include 5,000 bots by 2025, groundbreaking for a new factory in late 2025, 50,000 to 100,000 units in 2026, and 500,000 to 1 million in 2027. To put this into perspective, 5,000 bots per shift matches the workforce of a single Tesla factory shift, a bold vision unmatched by any other robotics company including Boston Dynamics. Currently, Tesla manufactures Optimus robots at its Giga Texas facility, which stands among the most advanced tech hubs globally. Although a dedicated production line has yet to be established, over 100 Optimus units have been manually assembled by Tesla engineers, demonstrating impressive adaptability and innovation. Last year, around 50 Optimus robots were showcased at a major event, interacting with attendees and becoming a central highlight. No other company has enabled customers to directly engage with a humanoid robot like Tesla has. Musk has even projected the eventual production of billions of Optimus robots, likening their prevalence to that of smartphones. While this vision may seem ambitious, Tesla's capabilities make it feasible. He compares this to the automotive industry, where annual production of 100 million vehicles sustains a global fleet of 2 billion cars. Similarly, the widespread utility of humanoid robots, from serving drinks in restaurants to performing household tasks, could drive demand for over a billion units annually. Musk envisions Optimus becoming as commonplace and essential as smartphones. However, achieving this scale of production presents significant challenges. Mass production requires extensive data and advanced training for Optimus's components. Critics have often pointed out the robot's awkward gait and slow movements, drawing humorous comparisons to those of an unsteady or elderly individual. Despite these challenges, Tesla is steadily progressing toward its groundbreaking vision for Optimus. Last year, nearly 50 Optimus robots were showcased at the Wii Robot event where they interacted directly with attendees and became the center of attention. To date, Tesla remains the only company in the world that allows customers to experience humanoid robots firsthand. This reflects tremendous confidence in Optimus's future, as Elon Musk once declared that Tesla would produce billions of Optimus robots. While this may sound far-fetched, considering Tesla's capabilities, it is not only feasible, but also within reach. So you could say pick up a cup, pick up a shirt, fold the shirt. Uh, th these, these things will generalize, I think, quite quickly. Elon Musk once admitted that enabling the Tesla bot to serve water, a task that sounds simple, is actually far from easy. The creation of the robot's hand alone accounted for nearly half of Optimus's engineering efforts. A significant portion of human intelligence is tied to the use of hands for manipulation and interaction with the world. For the first time in history, a robotic hand has achieved 22 degrees of freedom, just five fewer than the human hand. If the Tesla bot's brain were as intelligent as a human's and paired with this advanced hand, 
it could potentially perform 90% of the tasks that humans can do. However, the major challenge lies in balancing the sophistication of this system. Adding too many actuators would make the hand overly bulky, give it an unnatural shape, and compromise the flexibility needed to achieve the desired level of freedom and strength. If all fingers were of the same length, the hand's ability to manipulate objects would be severely limited. The differences in finger lengths enable the hand to perform delicate and precise tasks while enhancing its efficiency in handling complex operations. For instance, the pinky finger, though small, plays a crucial role in high precision movements. Losing the pinky would significantly reduce the hand's dexterity. This is why Optimus's hand is designed with five fingers of varying lengths, closely resembling the human hand. This unique design enables Optimus to perform tasks requiring exceptional precision, such as holding eggs, carrying battery trays, or serving drinks, all of which demand incredible dexterity from its hands. So how did Tesla achieve this? Elon Musk explained that in the human hand, most of the muscles controlling finger movements are located in the forearm, with tendons running through the wrist to manipulate the fingers. Similarly, Optimus has been redesigned with an actuation system resembling tendons in the human body to replicate the delicate functions of a hand. Tesla ingeniously integrated actuators into the forearm, mirroring the human body's mechanism, and used cables running through narrow tubes to control the fingers. These cables act as the tendons of Optimus, serving as the key components that allow its fingers to move with near-perfect precision. In the next analysis, we would like to mention new battery technology that promises to bring change to the entire market. Solid-state batteries have been hyped for years, and now companies are really in a race to make them to meet the urgent needs of the electric vehicle industry. Compared to the current gold standard of lithium-ion batteries, solid-state batteries have 60% more energy density and are 50% lighter. This is truly one of the revolutionary breakthroughs that makes them quite attractive for EVs especially Tesla models, where weight and performance are important factors that help the company continue to lead the market. How will these batteries hit the mass market? How energy density of solid-state batteries make a breakthrough? As mentioned earlier, solid-state batteries are generally lighter and have a higher energy density. The energy density of lithium-ion batteries is around 250 watt-hours per kilogram, whereas solid-state batteries can reach nearly 400 watt-hours per kilogram. This means that, for the same weight, solid-state batteries can store more energy. This crucial factor makes them particularly attractive for electric vehicles, such as those from Tesla, helping to enhance the performance of their SUV models like the Model Y, where weight and power are critical considerations. With the compact size of solid-state batteries, the reduction in weight also plays a key role in helping Tesla cut costs and improve drag efficiency. Although there is currently no concrete evidence, or claims about the range of vehicle with a solid-state battery could achieve on a single charge. It is expected that a Tesla Model Y equipped with such a battery could potentially travel a bit further than the current 300 to 330 miles per charge with its less dense battery. This potential increase in range could be enough to make a significant impact on the electric vehicle market. What is the charging rate that solid-state batteries can achieve? Most people today are still reluctant to switch to electric vehicles due to the inconvenience of charging times, which remain a significant challenge. Refueling a combustion engine vehicle typically takes less than five minutes, whereas charging an electric vehicle can be a much lengthier process. However, solid-state batteries appear to be a game-changer in addressing this issue. Tesla's vehicles equipped with solid-state batteries could potentially be fully charged in 30 minutes when using Tesla's improved fast-charging stations, which have been developed over several years. The materials used in today's EV batteries, such as graphite in the anode, have physical limitations that can cause permanent damage when charged rapidly, reducing the vehicle's range. This often forces EV drivers to choose between the convenience of fast-charging and preserving their battery range. As previously discussed, Solid-state batteries use solid electrolytes with high ionic conductivity, which accelerates the lithium-ion transport process and speeds up charging. They can achieve up to 80% charge in 15 minutes with less detrimental effect on lifespan compared to lithium-ion batteries. 
though this requires various methods and future research. There are two common types of electrolytes in solid-state batteries, sulfide and oxide. Sulfide electrolytes are noted for their excellent ionic conductivity, which enhances charging speed because ions can move through sulfide more easily than through some other electrolytes, leading to faster charging times. On the other hand, Oxide electrolytes can withstand higher voltages, allowing more ions to be transported through the electrolyte layer, thereby enabling the battery to operate more efficiently at higher voltages. Additionally, some studies suggest that solid-state batteries can be charged more than five times compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries throughout their lifetime. This not only extends the battery's lifespan, but also improves its stability and long-term performance. Researchers from Harvard University have even developed a solid-state battery capable of at least 6,000 cycles and can be recharged in 10 minutes. This research not only describes a new method for manufacturing solid-state batteries with a lithium metal anode, but also provides new insights into the materials used for this potentially revolutionary battery technology. How safe are solid-state batteries? Although solid-state batteries are not yet widely commercially available and face several barriers, their solid electrolytes offer higher safety compared to liquid electrolytes, which are prone to leakage. Solid-state batteries lack these liquid electrolytes, enhancing their safety. There are still various factors that can affect the safety of solid-state batteries. The higher melting temperature in these batteries helps minimize the risk of fire under high temperature conditions. However, they are not entirely fireproof. One study found that in the case of external heating faults, solid-state batteries produce less heat than conventional lithium-ion batteries, but more than pure solid-state batteries due to a small amount of liquid electrolyte present. For short-circuit faults, the heat generated depends only on the cell capacity. Since solid-state batteries can have higher energy density, they may generate more heat Typical uncontrolled thermal runaway temperatures for conventional lithium-ion batteries are around 1,000 to 1,200 degrees Celsius, whereas in some cases in this study, the temperature increase for solid-state batteries reached nearly 1,800 degrees Celsius. The development of solid-state batteries is still evolving, but it is notable that solid-state batteries could be safer in most cases. Nonetheless, no battery system is 100% safe Therefore, thermal management and fire-resistant materials will always be necessary to provide an additional layer to delay fire spread beyond the battery pack. How is solid-state battery production going? Unlike lithium-ion batteries, which have been mass-produced for decades, solid-state batteries have yet to find their attractive market niche. Most of the current production of these safer batteries remains at a non-standardized level, meaning they are more expensive to produce and integrate into electric vehicles. Estimates suggest that solid-state batteries can cost three to four times more than traditional lithium-ion batteries. While this may seem like bad news, we can expect prices to decrease as automakers adopt solid-state production methods. Panasonic, one of Tesla's leading battery suppliers, plans to introduce solid-state batteries for small drones and robots by 2029. Tatsuo Ogawa, Panasonic's chief technology officer, has explained that this solid-state battery technology will be used for automotive purposes, representing a significant promise for Tesla's electric vehicles. And Panasonic's third battery factory in the U.S. is set to be announced soon, with the company's commitment to increase production capacity to 200 gigawatt-hour by 2030 from the current limit of 50 gigawatt-hour. A significant barrier is building the supply chain for solid-state batteries. The battery supply chain requires high-quality materials in very large quantities, as the battery will not function even with a small amount of contamination. This indicates that it will take a long time to establish this type of battery. This is also because the broader battery field is growing exponentially, meaning that solid-state batteries are not entering a fixed market, but a market where all technologies, including traditional lithium-ion batteries, are rapidly improving. Nevertheless, solid-state batteries are not only a safer alternative, but also reduce the carbon footprint of electric vehicle batteries, potentially lowering the impact of batteries on the climate by up to 39% compared to lithium-ion batteries. 
Tesla has likely had its eye on this technology for some time, as it could address the challenging issues they have been tackling over the past decade, helping Tesla maintain its leading position in the clean energy industry and contributing to global environmental protection. However, for this technology to become a viable and widespread option, the challenges of production and cost must be overcome, and safety and performance issues must be resolved. Once these barriers are addressed, solid-state batteries could significantly reshape the clean energy industry and greatly contribute to mitigating climate change. What do you think about the potential of solid-state batteries for the all-EVs market in the future? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this, join Techno Creator by subscribing, and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.